Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Sorry there wasn't a video last week, but I'm back this week to say hi, check in, all is good. I'm feeling good actually. We had a wedding on the weekend. My friend Debs got married and it was so, so lovely. I haven't been to a wedding for ages. It was really, really great. Can't say I recommend going to a wedding when you're heavily pregnant. It is quite a different experience, but it was such a lovely day just celebrating them. It's like midweek now. Is it Wednesday? Tuesday, maybe? I'm not sure. It's almost lunchtime. I've just been getting on with some work. I'm actually wearing on my face. I wanted to show you guys. I've been wearing this since I was sent it a week or two ago. It's the tinted moisturizer from Authored, which is Tanya Burr's new beauty range. And I really, really like it. I wear shade three. It's very much tinted moisturizer in that it comes out quite liquidy. I used a brush to buff it in, and as you can see, it gives really nice coverage. I just kind of love it. I really think it's a great, great product. There's a few other products in her launch, like a lip balm, which is nice, a clear brow gel, and a mascara. But the standout product for me is the tinted moisturiser. I keep forgetting to tell Anna, actually, whether ask whether she's tried it, because I think it would be right up her street. Lovely product. So if you're wondering what is on my face today, it is that. I'm starting to slow down a little bit. I haven't really got like an official date that I'm gonna stop working. Last time I very much had an official date. I told you guys like what you can expect. And this time it's kind of a bit more flexible. I don't really know when I'm gonna stop working. I don't really know when I'm gonna, how much time I'm gonna take off. <laughs> Everything's a bit more, we shall see. But I am definitely slowing down a bit and that's okay. Yesterday I went to buy all of the stuff we need for the new loft bathroom. I was in the shop for three hours. Oh my gosh, it was intense, but you kind of have to do that if you wanna get a bargain. I went to like a trade discount store. And I mean, if you wanna spend money, you go to like a bathroom design place and it's lovely. You sit down and you have a cup of tea and it's very easy. <laughs> but if you wanna save money, you've gotta put in the work. So I was there for a good few hours and I can't say it was that fun, but I got everything. I got a toilet, I got a toilet frame, I got a sink, I got a drawers under the sink, I got taps, I got showers, I got shower handles, I got a screen, I got a shower tray, I got underfloor heating. I mean, I got so much stuff and it all came to a really good price. So I'm glad I just did that and it's done now. And that's probably gonna come in like a week or so. The loft is getting there. It's not gonna be done before the baby arrives, which I'm gutted about. We thought that it would, it's not. And we're probably gonna have to take a bit of a pause because I just don't wanna have like our hallway being plastered or painted whilst we've got a newborn baby in the house. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that, but I'm trying to trying to be chill. We are very lucky that we are able to do it. Um, it's just, and normally I would not be stressed at all about this sort of thing. It's not something worth getting stressed about. I think it's just the nesting instincts when you're at the end of your pregnancy are so strong. Like all I wanna do is wash baby clothes and put them out to dry. But our house is just like, a mess and so dusty and <laughs> I just want to like get his room ready but we're not going to be able to do any of that and it's fine it's absolutely fine <laughs> I just need to control the nesting urge in me something I've been trying to plan for I mean I feel like the list of things I need to do is big I haven't done my hospital bag I haven't like done any batch cooking for Grey or for us but one of the things on my list is to try and buy some, sorry, I don't know why I'm so blocked up. I think this is a pregnancy thing. It's like the back of my nose is blocked up. I'm not, I'm not actually like snotty, it's very weird. One of the things I wanna do is try and buy a few nice bits of clothing, like loungewear in particular, to wear postpartum. I just remember it being such a weird time and feeling like I didn't wanna wear any of my maternity, like pregnancy clothes, but I couldn't really fit into any of my normal clothes. For me, like having a baby, one of the biggest struggles in all of that was like, as still is, my the body changes. So I just wanna have a few nice things that make me feel good. It's gonna be winter, it's gonna be Christmas. So I've been trying to buy a few little bits and I've got a bit of an H&M haul that I can show you guys today. Actually, maybe, maybe I should do that now. I'll show you what I got from H&M. This is my haul from H&M. So I got a couple of cashmere jumpers. I'll try one of them on to show you. They're actually really reasonable for cashmere and I love the fit, it's like an oversized cashmere fit. And then I got a loungewear set. So this is the cashmere jumper. This is in a large, but I have the black one in a medium and they both fit well, it's just slightly different. I'd say that the large is just a bit longer. 
so I guess good for wearing with leggings but the medium is also nice I'm going to keep that to wear with jeans it's just a really lovely oversized fit so soft I just love cashmere it makes me feel cozy and luxurious I kind of like slightly wider hands uh, sleeves sorry <laughs> not wider hands um, yeah this is a really good find really happy with these cashmere jumpers from H&M this is so so nice this is a fleece so I'm sorry if you can't really see there you go that's better it's a khaki green fleece it's kind of got a pocket there it's really cozy because it's actually lined so it's quite thick um, so it does actually keep you warm it's got a hood perfect it's a nice length covers your bum with leggings but they're not too long um, I got this in a large because I wanted it to fit now and I wanted it to fit postpartum. Also I quite like the oversized look with something like this. So that is a uh, fleece. Pretty sure this was like 30 quid which I think is pretty good. Okay this doesn't really fit me now because I have a huge bob but this is for postpartum. It's a cashmere blend set from H&M. Something for me to lounge around the house in but to also just feel like good about myself at the same time. I like the wrap style top, obviously doesn't really fit over the bump at the moment. I went for the medium. Anyway, they fit nicely. It's just a really cozy set. I'll link all of these things below in the description box. If you're interested, H&M have some really nice new cashmere blend bits out for slightly more affordable cashmere than you'll find in other places. This is just my uniform at the moment. This oversized long hoodie is from Arquette. It's the best. Uh, they have a cream version that's got zips on the side and they have a black version of this one. I love it so much. Leggings and slippers. This is what I'm living in at the moment. Also, let me show you Gray's new bedroom. It's coming along nicely. You guys have seen the wardrobes. Look what I did. So proud of myself. Well, Rich helped put it up, but you know, it was my idea. Uh, we put up some bookshelves and also this little toy basket hanging thing. So this pole, this is actually from Ikea, from the kitchen department, and we've got some little hooks, and then the baskets I got from H&M, so I've just put some dolls and like makeup and stuff that she likes to play with in there. And then these shelves are from Ikea. They don't do them online for some reason, um, but our local branch, I think, had some in stock, which was very lucky because I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, and I just think they're really nice to display books. I know they're a bit high for her to reach, but we pick her up and ask her to pick what she wants to read and we've got a good selection here. We love this one, Bodies Are Cool. She loves anything by Julia Donaldson. We've got The Little People Big Dreams, which she's not quite old enough for yet. She loves the Tom Fletcher books. Just, a, you know, a big selection there. We've actually got some overspill over here. This side of the room is not done yet. This is still like left over from my office. So this room, side of the room is not as nice, but also, those prints are left over from my office, I need to sort those out. But it's getting there, slowly. Also, I really want to show you guys, I can't go downstairs and vlog and talk because Rich is doing a presentation downstairs in the kitchen on his computer. But I really wanted to show you that I finally found a lamp base for my lamp. I know it looks like a pencil shaving, I love this lampshade. And I found a base for it from Pookie Lights. So I will show you a little clip now of what it looks like and I'll put the link for it down below in the description box. I think it looks so nice. It's so nice to have like a feature lamp. We've got it in the lounge for now. It might go in the loft room eventually. I'm not sure, but I love it. And I'm so glad that I don't just have a lampshade sitting around now. Honestly, I am just losing steam, <laughs> especially when it gets to the afternoons. Um, so I guess as I start winding down, is there anything you guys want me to share with you before I go off for a couple of months or whatever, however long it will be. Do you have any video requests? Is there anything you desperately want me to show or share with you guys before I go? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, the doorbell just went and I got a delivery from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Very exciting, so I thought I'd show you guys. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's new cream blushes. I really rate Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's expensive. The products are actually really good. So you kind of get the quality that you pay for. This is a cool press release. I like all the imagery. Okay, so it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five cream blushes. Knickers, playground, roller skate, mini skirt, major. I like how they have like subtle reference to, well, sorry, that is a massive bum. 
I like how they have um, subtle, as in it's not massive, sorry, I just meant like there's a bomb on a massive piece of paper. Um, I like how they have subtle references to like posh spice, Spice Girls references. Okay, let me show you. Got some in here. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys know I am a massive fan of cream blush. It's all I wear, really, at the moment, for years. I wear the um, nude sticks one on most days. Oh, I literally can't get comfortable. <laughs> This is what the packaging looks like. Wait, how much are they? Tell me it says on the press release how much they are. It does not say how much they are. Comes in the classic uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty packaging, which is tortoise shell. It's very like weighty and heavy. It looks a bit like their lipsticks, but slightly bigger. Not too big actually, it's quite nice and small. It's definitely like a small handbag size. Oh, it's really small. Really small for a cream. Can I, I, how can I show you without showing you compared to another? It li almost looks like a lipstick. Normally there, a cream blusher would be a lot fatter than that. So this is, to get my torch out because I can't see a thing, Playground. I haven't got a brush on me, but let's say I just like put it on my cheek and then blend it in with my finger. Oh, I'm gonna like these. So gonna like these. I never really blend with my finger, so the fact that I can is good because I would normally use a brush. So we have that color. Mini skirt, which is a bit darker. We have, I love how I'm literally having to look at the name of the flash roller skate. Whoa, that is bright. Oh, that looks like a real me color. Major, major knickers which is a really pretty peachy colour. So let me show you all of them. There you go. Those are all the blusher colours. How pretty are they? Oh, I'm really gonna enjoy playing with these. I wanna test them out properly. So far, knickers and playground look like they're gonna be my favourites. But if you haven't looked at Victoria Beckham Beauty yet and you're into Makeup. They do skincare as well. I'm not massively into the skincare, but I really like the makeup. It's just really good. How exciting. I love a little afternoon delivery. Especially if it's something fun. I have been buying a lot of knickers. <laughs> I've been trying to prep for C-section recovery. And yeah, I've just been buying so many different knicker recommendations. I don't know what the best ones are. Do I want them to be like a bit tighter and have compression? Or do I just want them to be loose and comfortable? I've got some M&S knickers. I've got like the, the modal ones and the cotton ones. I got some from Amazon that a friend recommended. I've got some leftover from last time. I mean, wow, guys. <laughs> Why am I showing this in a vlog? Massive, massive knickers. I could wear these now, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I would say this is a pretty exciting delivery because it's not knickers. <laughs> oh, also talking about knickers. Why am I still going on about knickers? I finally, finally found these in stock. These are so hard to get hold of. Freedom Arm. I think this brand is American. Um, it's definitely been around like in other countries longer than it has here, but it's available here now in boots. And everyone's going mad for it. They do just really good products. They do like a snot sucker for babies and... Oh, they even do this product, so clever. When we used to give Grey, this is one of my best mum hacks, actually. When we used to take Grey for her injections when she was a newborn, you're meant to give them like cow pole or medicine, but it's so hard to use the syringe that comes with the medicine on a newborn baby. They just don't know how to like take liquid in that way. And it's a real faff and it's really like stressful. So we used to take the teat off a bottle and like put the teat in her mouth. We'd measure out the medicine and the syringe and then we'd put the syringe in the teat and that's how we'd give it to her and it worked so well. Freedom Mum have actually invented a product just like that, which makes me feel like I kind of semi-invented it. I didn't because I'm sure someone else told me that trick, but I just thought that's genius. Anyway, so Freedom Mum has loads of cool products, but they also have postpartum underwear and they have specific C-section ones, and I was looking for them everywhere. They're literally always sold out online, impossible to get hold of, and I looked on the Boots website and I found my nearest Boots that had some, and I went and bought two packs. Lots of people recommended these to me, just for the couple of days to follow. Obviously, I know disposable isn't ideal, but just for like the first two days. The first day, 
and wear like a full on nappy. But then the day after when you're wearing pads, these are really nice and comfortable instead of knickers. They're kind of like soft and stretchy. And I'm just excited to have something different to last time. I mean, did I just say excited? I'm excited for disposable knickers. What has my life come to? I think I should stop making YouTube videos before I lose all of my <laughs> subscribers because I've become so boring. I'm gonna go pick up Grey from nursery in a minute. It's just a short walk. It's good for me to get the exercise, although I always end up like panting loads. I think I've been getting quite a lot of mum guilt recently. Just thinking about like, I always do this thing where I put myself in her little brain and that's when the mum guilt starts. I need to stop doing that, but I try and like imagine how she's feeling and what she's thinking. And when I think about like, last night I couldn't sleep because I was lying in bed just thinking about like the moment we're gonna walk into our house with a baby in a car seat. And I know she's gonna be so excited, like she's so excited, it's really sweet. She like kisses my belly. She says, when am I gonna be a big sister? Like it all seems really positive at the moment, but I know there will be like good days and bad days. And the other night we were sitting in her bedroom when we were doing bedtime and she was doing a show for us. And it was so funny, it was so cute. She was singing and dancing around her room in her pants and me and Rich were sitting there and we were laughing our heads off. We were both just laughing so much. It was so such a lovely moment. And I just thought, oh God, her world is gonna get turned upside down. Like she's got both of our attention right now. She's got us wrapped around her little finger. It's all about her. And then suddenly this new little person's gonna come into our life and they're gonna take up a lot of our time and attention and they're gonna be crying a lot. And I just, when I think about like her little brain thinking like, oh God, it actually makes me teary. Maybe I should stop talking about this. <laughs> I think she will love it, but I just hope that. Oh my God, I've been due a cry for like two weeks. I've been due a hormonal pregnancy cry for so long. And I've been wondering when it's gonna happen. Did not expect it to happen now <laughs> all i'm saying is i hope i don't sit there lie there in bed while i'm recovering just thinking oh my god i feel so bad that i'm not going out and doing fun things with gray and missing out and i hope she doesn't think that like every time every time i buy something new for the baby and she's like what's that i'm trying not to say like it's for the baby because i don't want her to think like everything's for this baby so i'm like this is a blanket so that you can help wrap up the baby or something. I'm trying to like incorporate her into everything. It's just a lot. I feel like I have to think about everything I say so I don't kind of make her feel left out or sad or second best or anything. Oh my God, please someone comment and tell me that I'm not crazy and that this is a normal thing at the end of a pregnancy when you're about to have your second child. Am I just overthinking everything? Is it the hormones? <sighs> I start every video thinking, I'm not gonna talk about babies and pregnancy in this video. Let's just try and talk about things that aren't related to baby and pregnancy. And then I realize that that is my whole world at the moment and it's really hard not to. So sorry if you came to this video for other things and all you got were big knickers. I think I'll end it here. <laughs> what a roller coaster this video has been. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go get Grey from nursery and then I'm gonna bring her home. We're gonna play. I'm gonna make bolognese for dinner. And that's about it. Oh, baby just kicked me. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye.